we've uh, handed our phones to Zach. Zach has uh, gotten uh, gone through them and pulled our last three photos, and we're going to discuss <laughs> what these photos okay. are. Okay. All right, good. Uh, so let's go ahead. Start with the first one. Okay, you need to explain oh, yeah. this uh, picture, Jason. This is my son. His name is Gus, and uh, he's with me for the s- summer. And a couple weeks ago, uh, for his birthday, his grandma got him his first guitar. Oh, That's not it. How old is he? He is 13. Okay, that had to make you kind of proud, right? As oh, a singer-songwriter. Uh, well, yeah. I, I, like, I, like, I don't expect him to be into music or, any, you know, any you, of those things. But, you, did, but, you didn't force him that no, way? No, no, okay. no. His idea. And uh, so then uh, we went to the music store so I could buy him some extra strings and all that kind of stuff. And he didn't want to go in the music store like, Dad, it's going to be boring and all that kind of stuff. Well, come on, let's go in. And then we got in there and he perked up and he wandered off and he found that electric guitar and and he started playing. And I thought, oh, man, I think he's discovering that he might uh, enjoy music and that this might be a way that he wants to express himself. It is a hot pink electric and guitar. I'm not, I'm not sure guitar, about that yeah. one. Did that cause you any uh, anxiety? Uh you know, I think uh, I think he likes to be original and quirky, and I'm not surprised at all that he would grab a pink sparkly guitar. He should have been born in the, the '80s. Reason. Like know, that's right? like that's exactly, textbook right? poison right there. <laughs> oh man, he is all about the '80s music. Actually. Oh really? So, yeah. That's interesting. All right, so following in his dad's footsteps. Okay, here's uh, my photo. It is a great-looking guy dressed in a shark costume at that's a fancy a dolphin, event. Isn't it? Uh, yeah, an aspiring dolphin uh, trainer from The yeah, Bachelor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, uh, that's my shark costume. <laughs> but if you'll notice, I'm at the buffet table eating sushi. Mm. I hope I hope that's that the irony of that wasn't yeah, lost on anybody. No, 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 yeah. So that was uh, my good. latest one. I like it. Not a lot of depth to that. Just funny. No, it's good. Uh, oh. Oh well, look at that. Okay, uh, please describe the okay, tie so and cummerbund bun and what's going on there. This came up in my Facebook feed, and so I had to capture it. That's actually uh, me with my prom date, Kay Evans, in uh, high school. And I just wow. I just feel so grateful that she would go to prom with such a dorky looking dude. Like <laughs> you had like wearing... a miniature mullet going I too, know, man. I know, I that. How old are you there? Uh, I don't know, 17, maybe 16, Wow, did you, did, have you uh, talked to her ever since then? I, I, uh, I downloaded it so that I could send her the picture and I said, hey, I just want to thank you for going to prom with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did me a favor. Yeah, yeah, thank <laughs> yeah you. she's out. She, you, thank you, you for having mercy on me. <laughs> you dated up. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. So. All right, what's mine, Zach? Oh, okay. This was a card uh, that I got from my daughter um, for uh, you know one of my birthdays. Uh, how old do you think my daughter was when she drew this? It was just two pals sitting at their uh, laptops because we used to do school together when I was getting my oh, yeah. uh, degree and stuff, uh, my master's, and she was still in school. So, uh, how old do you think she was when she drew? That. Oh, eight. Eight? Okay. Well, that's, what do you think? that's about the average age that I thought most people would say. Yeah. 18. She oh. literally just drew that for me last, like just two, two weeks ago. Just two on their laptops. <laughs> yes. I love it. She can sing like nobody's yeah. business. That kid cannot draw to save her life. <laughs> That's an 18-year-old's drawing. It's very impressionistic. I bet she meant it to look yeah. that way. Uh, the stools are like eight feet tall. Yeah. My yeah. legs and arms. I don't, even, I don't even have a face. I don't know what's going on with that one. All right, That's let's good. do Jason Gray's last one, Zach. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is... Uh, a woman that uh, I met this weekend in Wisconsin. I was doing a show up there, and she came up to me after the show because um, she wanted to thank me because uh, about two years ago, uh, the last time that she was at one of my concerts was uh, when I was playing in Waukesha, Wisconsin, the first date on the Big Daddy Weave Tour. And why that is significant is it was, uh, it was the first time of me going out um, back on the road, uh, uh, um, after the divorce was, was, was final. Mm. And, uh, so I was really broken. I was exhausted. And how hard is that to go on and tell people about how great God is and he fixes uh, lives and redeems you when you're walking through the most personal hardship of your life? That's gotta be like, that was like vexing. That was hard. It was, it was complicated. There was a disconnect in terms of what, of, of, of um, the duty I need to perform, and where my own heart was at. Totally. Um, and so, but I needed to pay the bills, 
And, <laughs> and the big Teddy Weave guys are so great. So I knew that would be a good place for me to be. And I had to work, you know. So, yes, I'll do the tour. And I only had to play for like a half an hour. I thought, I'll go play for a half an hour. And then I'm just going to go hide in my bunk. And if you've ever been to a, 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 a big Teddy Weave show, there's not a lot of opportunity for hiding, you know. <laughs> and uh, so they would open up um, the altar each night and do. Uh, a, he would. Inf- he would. Um, they would. They would invite people who needed prayer, and, and, and then uh, we, as the artists, we were supposed to go down and pray with them. And I just felt like. Oh, man, I don't know if anybody wants me praying for them because I don't even know what I think about prayer right now because this one thing that I prayed so hard for didn't work out, you know. And So I don't know. I think I'm going to just hang out on the bus. And they told me that was great. I didn't have to be there. But I had developed a discipline over the years where if I perceived that, 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 that God was moving over here, in this area, then I wanted to be there so I might get hit by something, you know. So I'm hanging out on the bus that night, and I thought, you know what, I think I'm going to go in there, and I don't know if I, how to pray right now, but I'm just going to go and be available and see what happens. And so I walked in, and I was so full of anger and shame and regret and broken, broken, broken. And I thought, okay, I'll go up to pray for people. I sure hope nobody who, who needs healing from cancer or something like that comes to me because I, I know that I got I nothing yeah. in the tank uh, but I went up there and the first person who was in the line was was this woman here and she came to ask for prayer because she had just gone through a divorce I thought oh that's your I'm, God moment I'm the only one here who knows how to pray for this woman mm-hmm. and I can pray for that and it was um, it was very affirming because it it, it felt like God was saying, I'm not done with you. I still have good work for you to do, work that you will be specially equipped for. And uh, the first run on that t- t- tour, we were uh, we were out for 12 days. And I kid you not, every night of that first run, somebody in my line needed prayer because of a marriage that was coming apart. Or, there it is. You know? And so it was very restorative. It was the beginning of my healing of, of believing that I still had good work to do. That's a great was, picture to have as a reminder yeah. of that for sure. It was this weekend. All things to work together her. for good. And sometimes it's not our good, but it's for other people. Yeah. And yeah, that's absolutely. amazing.